What it do, YouTube? It's your boy. Hey, yo, no, come back to y'all with another text nation fan talk. Y'all already know what time it is today. I'm coming at y'all with some voluntary training camp videos, some top 30 visits of the Houston Texans, and some sound bits from Titus Howard, Lovey Smith, Tamarine Thomas, and Desmond King Jr. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like. And if you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I deliver Houston, Texas content, and it will get even more content in the next coming weeks since the draft is in two days. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to start it off with the top 30 visits. I'm going to do the top 10 players who have been in the Houston, Texans, you know, um, meeting room. Tomorrow, I will go even more into it. Like I said, there's 30. I'm going to do the top 10. Um, Adrian Hutchinson, he's visited the Houston Texans. Kayvon Thibodeau, Inga McQuanu. You got Sauce Gardner, Derek Stingley Jr. You got Jamison Williams, Traylon Burks. You also got Bree C. Hall. And you got, you got some guys on here that are really going to have some impact plays on the team if they were drafted by the Houston Texans. Like I said, my favorite players are those guys. I'll break down the three. My personal favorites, it's got to be Sauce Gardner, Kayvon Thibodeau, and Derek Stingley Jr. I'm a defensive guy. I think defenses win championships, and that's really what it is. That's really how you, that's how you win games. And that was really our weakest point last year, in my personal opinion. I know people want to get Ika McQuanu. They want to get Evan Neal. They want to get Kyle Hamilton. So, y'all let me know in the comments, who would y'all like for the Houston Texans to draft with the third pick and the 13th pick? Like I said, tomorrow I will do a even more dive into the top 30 guys, and I will even drop a mock draft, my final mock draft, before the Houston Texans have their official 2022 NFL draft. Um, some sound bits, really from Levis, I'm not going to do too many of them. He basically talked about Titus Howard. When you have a team guy like Titus, it doesn't matter We'll figure that all out when they asked him about if Titus Howard was going to be playing at right tackle. Honestly, that, that sucks because they're not committed at Titus Howard playing right tackle. They're talking about Titus Howard can play guard. He can play tackle. Come on now. It, it, if we're being dead ass honest, Titus Howard wasn't the best at guard. He's better at tackle, better at right tackles. And um, I really think that the Houston Texans need to just stop playing with this dude's position. Titus Howard is even stressed that he wants to play right tackle. He's a tackle. Um, they got to be committed. They're probably not being committed to saying, hey, we're going to keep him at right tackle because we do have the third pick and you want to keep teams guessing. You don't want teams to know, hey, the Houston Texans are going to draft Ika McQuanu, you know, or, or Kayvon Thibodeau, any of those top guys. You want to keep teams who are behind us guessing because, you know, we have all the power in this draft, man. We really do. And as y'all have been seeing, I do have the Houston Texans in their voluntary training camp practices right now. Um, Davis Mills is slinging that thing. He's doing very nice with the players. This is going to be his second year in the system. Really, first official, official year at Pep Hamilton's system. Um, Pep Hamilton had a very nice stint with the Indianapolis Colts. But this time, he is really calling the shots. Along with Lovey Smith calling the shots again. You know, he had a stint with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. His best stint with the Chicago Bears. This is going to be a rebuild, but Nick Casario has said this is not a rebuild. This is not a rebuilding team. We're going guns, guns blazing. We're going into this season like, you know, like we're trying to get a championship. And that's what I really respect out of Nick Casario. He's not letting the players just think that this is just another season, which is how it should be. It's good that Nick Casario is really letting these guys know that we're trying to win some games and that's how it should really be, especially for the fans. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about, you know, Davis Mills, the potential guys that we're going to bring in. Like I said, tomorrow I am going to drop a mock draft, and I am also going to do a deeper dive into the top 30 participants that, that have came in and talked to the Houston Texans, you know, one-on-one -on -one meetings. And, you know, most likely we'll have some more training camp. Well, not training camp, voluntary you know, but workout videos coming. But it's your boy, I don't know, I signing off. Peace. Go Texans.